Will Yamaha address their hulls, their hull issue, in making them thicker? The issue with Yamaha hulls is not whether they're thick or thin. They're strong. And they haven't been cracking, cracking in the sense of breaking and breaking apart and sinking. What has been happening is Nano XL is thin, but it's strong. And what happens when it's thin but strong? It flexes, all right? <coughs> Every inch of that damn ski flexes. It oil cans. It's like, whoop, uh, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's doing this the whole time. Well, that's well and good if it was covered in gel coat because gel coat has natural elasticity in it. Automotive enamel paint is not naturally elastic. So it doesn't like to bend or stretch. So what happens? You start looking at a Yamaha FX SVHO or a GP or whatever the hell you got, and all of a sudden your paint has got spider webs and cracking all along the edges. And you're like, ah, my $18,000 ski is freaking cracking apart. It's covered in spider webs. All right? And your spider web cracks when I say spider webs. Well, what's happening is that the paint itself is cracking. Okay. So what about the hulls? Everyone's like, the hulls are delaminated. Well, sort of. What's happening is because they're painted in aftermarket paint, or aftermarket paint, because they are painted in automotive paint that is not elastic, all right, what happens is that... That paint weakens. The flexing, the flexing, the flexing is weakening that paint. And small fissures and cracks begin to develop in that paint. And let's be really honest, there's a lot of folks out there who just run those sons of bitches right up the bunks of their, of their trailer. They run up the beach. They run up a sandbar. Just rah, they just ring it up there and kill the engine, or they kill the engine and coast it right into the beach or whatever. Okay. Well, that's automotive paint you're doing that to. If I took the hood off your car and violently dragged it up a beach, you'd stab me in the face with a screwdriver. All right. For sure. Of course you would. Um, well, that's what they're doing with their with their watercraft, with their wave runners. So, they're getting little chips, they're getting cracks, they're getting dings, and a lot of imperfections in the hull. So, what happens if you go and you've got a 70 mile an hour ski, and you've got all these cracks and fissures, and you've got all these chips and nicks and gouges in your paint, and that water is shooting across that surface, that's, that's like me taking a pressure washer and just pointing it, pointing that right at that crack. Well, eventually that crack or that fissure, water's going to penetrate and it's going to intrude and it's going to want to separate off of the bonding surface. And that's what you get with delamination when the paint just peels off, okay? And you see long strips of paint rip off, all right? It's because they've chipped the hell out of their paint. They've scratched the hell out of their paint. There's gouges in that paint. And quite frankly, the paint itself is weak. So, ugh, what is Yamaha doing to amend this? Well, thankfully, in fact, I think I have some. And I'm not going to dig it out. Um, they are putting in... And I've, I I know this for a fact for 21s, is that they put in, oh, uh, what is, there's an agent that you, that you mix into the catalyst of the paint that basically allows the paint to stretch and pull, all right? It's an elastomer. I can't remember the name of the additive that they're using. 
But Yamaha has done two major things. They have improved on the base coat. And the reason why they changed the base coat is because they wanted a better bonding surface. So the paint has something better to stick to. Number two is adding that elastomer additive into the paint so that the paint has more flex and give. Time will tell whether it's doing the trick. So far, I haven't seen anyone have delamination problems really since the mid-year 2020s. Which makes me, which makes me think that they have done, um, they did a mid-year change. I know they did. A, I know they did a mid-year change on the base coat on the primer. Whether the additive was added in last year, I don't know. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.